Hey, Mark supports the current thing, and this is an article I actually saw in WND, but it's really from Ynet News. So it's about like the Middle East, and like uh, essentially, it's it's they're trying to make a um, a, a big deal out of um, an article asking the question, why are um, women from the I guess the Arabian Peninsula, the Arab world? Why are they ten percentage points larger, fatter, uh, more obese than the men in the same world? T- typically, people who who become obese are people who are well taken care of. Like this, it also could be eating habits. Uh, a lot of these people eat carbs. It could be things along those lines. And every time I've seen like people from that region, they've always had a little bit more meat if you get my drift. Now, and the thing is, like, women are the ones who care about this more than men. Again, b- bigger ladies reject typically reject bigger men, right? Unless the man is rich, <laughs> it's it's unfair. But women, once again, it's because due to the lack of logic, they don't see things from the perspective of logic and fairness. They see things through the perspective of emotions. If they're emotionally hurt by something, then that something is bad. Okay. So Talib Foytu says she's suing the um, London-based magazine for defamation. Okay. So this is just just this lady, right? Again, we live in this uh, culture of feelings and emotions. You know, it's like as much as these women want to believe it's a patriotic patriarchal world the world is really made for women that's it it's like it's it's programmed into men to try to satisfy women that's what it is okay we're programmed you know no women are programmed to take care of themselves and children but mostly themselves but men are programmed to take care of everything everyone Civilization, okay. All right, and this article goes into fat shame in the United States and Middle Western culture, blah blah blah, and it's trying to make a, a an uproar over women being bigger. See, here's the thing. It's okay for them to be bigger, but you shall not talk about it. Again, all these things lead into a censorship, a censorship society. And we know this is how it starts with communism or what it heads to during communism. The littlest things being censored always leads to larger things. Okay. Take care. Bye.